Anna Juno. Welcome back. Taking a look at your weather headlines, we're going to see those temperatures a bit cooler than average today, up into the upper 60s and the 70s, which is still warm, but just not as warm as what we should probably be seeing in July. We'll also see some daily chances of showers and thunderstorms today, adding a bit of moisture into the area, but a possible warm up is on the way for the end of the week and into this weekend. But taking a look at that Doppler radar, those showers are a bit widespread, but mostly in the southern portion of the state this morning. But don't worry, North Central Montana will get to see some of those showers later this afternoon and this evening. But currently those temperatures are in the low to upper 50s and up in the 60s already for some places. And again, these temperatures are a bit below average because of your upper level patterns. Now there is a trough that is bringing in some low pressure and some instability to most of the state today. It's also cooling things down, but not as cool as we saw last week, just into those 70s, which is a bit mild and um, also a little bit below average. But some of that um, instability is going to bring in some of those showers and thunderstorms to the area, which is good because we need as much moisture as we can get. Now it does look like that ridge of high pressure is going to come into the area, but not yet. Some more troughs are on the way um, for Wednesday, even into Thursday, but hopefully as we head into Thursday, most of these showers will be on that downward trend. So we'll see a clearer night um, and a drier night for Thursday on the 4th of July. But that's a little bit too far in the future, so we'll get back to that as we head throughout the week. But taking a look at your future track, you can expect a lot of these widespread showers and thunderstorms to make their way through later this afternoon and this evening for north central Montana. But even though some of these thunderstorms could be on the stronger side, they're not going to be very severe. And you can see that most of Montana and the state is going to see some non-severe thunderstorms, though portions of southeastern Montana could see some of those isolated severe thunderstorms. But just because we're not going to see those thunderstorms on the severe side, that doesn't mean that we're not going to get some strong um, thunderstorms, which, which could bring in some small hail if you are lucky enough to see that. These showers will continue throughout Wednesday, and it looks like they will be on a dying trend for Thursday. And again, hopefully we'll see drier conditions for your 4th of July evening. Taking a look at your sustained wind, not super breezy this morning, only up to 13 miles per hour for places along the Rocky Mountain front, but some of those wind gusts could reach up to 40 miles per hour at times. As we head throughout the day, most of these winds will become a little bit more widespread up into that 10 to 20, 20 to 30 mile per hour point. And you can expect winds like this to continue throughout the week with a lot of this, these unsettled conditions continuing too. Highs today will be in the upper 60s and the 70s, a little bit cooler for the eastern um, for the central portion of the state, but the eastern portion will see a little bit warmer temperatures. You can expect your lows tonight down into the 50s um, with some partly cloudy skies and some more chances of those storms.